Hello and welcome to Hindustan Times Online, Desi Martini. My name is Sandeep and today I have another very special guest, Mr. Habfei Michel from France. Hello, sir. Hello. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Um, so, uh, as we know, and the fact that we are gathered here is because of the fact that the French government, they are actually trying to tie up, uh, I mean, with a lot more Bollywood films and they want Bollywood uh, directors and the filmmakers to use France as a backdrop in their films. Why this extra effort? France being such a beautiful country with such wonderful heritage monuments. We all know about the Louvre Museum. We all know about the Chateau de Chaumont. We all know about the... I mean, uh, there are so many historical museums that have been there for uh, since centuries. Why this extra step? Oh, I think it's uh, globalization, you know, and the fact that it's more and more possible and more and more easy to, uh, to uh, exchange talents, mm -hmm. to cooperate. We don't want to miss an important step of working with uh, such an important cinema and movie country like India, you know. And uh, it's part, I think, of the marketing efforts that we're trying to do to just uh, remind people uh, of very simple facts. Of course, France is a great country. Of course, we have a lot of nice uh, places uh, to be used for shooting movies, but... Uh, India is so many, mm -hmm. India is so much bigger mm -hmm. and there are so many other territories we are right now in such a worldwide competition to prove that we can uh, welcome and uh, cooperate with countries. We just want to reinforce the fact that uh, between India and France something can be done even more that has been done in the past and whatever more uh, evident for two major cinema countries like India and France. Mm -hmm. um, Michel, uh, another very pertinent question out here is that, yes, India is definitely a cinema predominant country where a lot of cinema has been made and has been ma is being made and is, is in the process of being made for that matter. And French too, at the same time, is one of the most prominent countries. Uh, France too uh, is one of the most prominent countries where cinema has been made and uh, it has been made, it is being made and the biggest uh, filmmakers are from France. You have Truffaut, you have Godard, you have René, you have so many filmmakers, some of them are my personal favourites. Um, which filmmaker in India do you think, or do you even watch Indian films? Yeah, I mean, do you have the slightest knowledge of, uh, I mean, the filmic repertoire? I'm not a Bollywood specialist, but mm -hmm. I'm a B Bollywood fan. When I have the opportunity of uh, seeing an Indian movie, it's always with pleasure. So, um, um, you were mentioning directors, French directors, that used to be famous. Mm -hmm. They are not anymore around. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They're always they are, they, they are all, all of them are dead. Um, but it, they are just... They still live, live in yeah, the memory of cinema. Live. You're right. Exactly. But if you want, if we want to make it more uh, efficient, we need to reinforce the fact that uh, we are still there. And you were mentioning cinema, but we should mention as well another very important segment of the movie industry, which is television. Mm -hmm. And television is now, um, as well, a very important way of showing incredible uh, images, of telling very good stories. Mm -hmm. And that we can even do uh, even better if we cooperate with uh, major countries with such an experience in cinema and television as Indian country is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, when we are talking about cinema and the cinema that has been Indian cinema that has been shot in France, we have, uh, I mean, some of the oldest films like from the 60s. I remember Raj Kapoor's Sangam was shot in France in the Eiffel Tower. Uh, you, uh, in the recent times, we have the film Be Fikre yes. uh, that has been shot in France. You have uh, Tamasha, as the girl mentioned. So yes, there are quite a few films that are shot in France. Uh, what and people are quite aware of the fact that you know French is a beautiful country. They are well aware of it. Why this extra effort is what I, is what I want to know. Well, I guess you know we are in a fight. We are fighting with a lot of competitors, mm -hmm. and uh, okay, I get that. I you get know, that. <laughs> and I think if you are not reinforcing the fact that there is nice places, that there are some, because you're a movie fan, and obviously you know a lot of our countries already. <laughs> but every everybody is not like you, unfortunately, <laughs> okay. and we need to to make it you know better known. 
that mm. we are ready, that we are um, that we are welcoming uh, Indian professionals, and that uh, we would like to uh, in in the cinema and the television uh, fields, we are really um, um, happy and uh, eager to more cooperation. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> my next question to you is pertaining to uh, the beautiful uh, landscapes uh, that have already been used in uh, the Indian cinema, but they are not the French landscapes. Now, for instance, you were mentioning about the competitors. Uh, Switzerland, for that matter, is one major uh, competitor I'd say in this case because uh, a lot of Indian films have been shot in Switzerland so is your main competitor Switzerland <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because you know I before yesterday mm -hmm. before today even I didn't know that Switzerland was one of our competitor and I oh, heard okay, that I, see that I heard that during the session mm -hmm. today you know that in Switzerland a lot of count of lot of shootings were happening yeah. I didn't know no I don't think Switzerland is a fantastic country even though it's a it tiny is, yeah, exactly. it's a tiny country compared to France or to India, it's even more uh, obvious. But no, I didn't know that. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, Switzerland is a great country. It's like a, uh, sometimes a postcard, a nice postcard. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, I can perfectly understand that uh, shooting happened over there because uh, there are a lot of uh, advantages as well, probably. Yeah. Uh, another very, very pertinent point to mention out here is that uh, as you said, Switzerland is definitely a very beautiful country, but at the same time, when you talk about the semiotics, the language of films, the very, I mean, how a film is made, since I'm a filmmaking student, I know it for a fact, and I know what impact f uh, French filmmakers have had on the world history of cinema. Uh, the very language and the very, uh, I mean, the fact that, you know, you don't really need a dialogue to convey an emotion. Something of that sort has been beautifully, beautifully displayed by all the French filmmakers that, whose name I just took. Uh, when you're talking about Switzerland, you're talking about Russia for that matter. Raj Kapoor was one uh, filmmaker, show, the showman of the millennium. He's one of the biggest um, uh, filmmakers of our country. Uh, he was. Uh, he preferred a lot of shoot being done in Russia as well because he was hailed like a god over there. So uh, Russia is also another, another competitor for that matter. Uh, so, uh, for, I mean, the question that I was about to ask you, do you think as, uh, as a country who, uh, whose history is steeped in films and steeped in art, for that matter, uh, will understand uh, the meaning of a particular short or a sequence or the way the, part, no, the filmmaker wants to uh, shoot a particular scene in a better way as opposed to the other countries, for that matter? Well, I think France can offer uh, fantastic landscapes and know-how and uh, some history in cinema, as you mentioned. I think France can offer a lot of good stories as well. I think we have one of the oldest culture, like Indian culture, of Chinese mm -hmm. culture as well. And uh, if you talk about uh, European culture, probably France is one of the uh, prominent uh, ones in, his, in, 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 uh, in the past. And I think this is what we can bring as well to uh, Indian and to other uh, professional in the world. And this is one of the other uh, main features that we will put uh, in the front to explain that uh, shooting in France has another interest. You are getting back to the uh, real culture mm -hmm. in times when Absolutely. you get to France. Uh, I have one very, very important question to ask you. The same question I posed to Isabella as well. Um, and it is that earlier as well, the French government and the French tourism has been promoting, um, 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 what do you call that, Sh uh, in, especially in the Bollywood repertoire, to come and shoot in, in, in France. And for that, they had even increased the tax rebate from 20 to 30 percent and then free accommodation in, in hotels and free affairs and all of that. Um, now anything extra will be added to the list or it will just be, it'll just be the same? Well, you know, I'm not a, a specialist in, um, in, uh, in the tax rebates and in the attraction of shootings uh, from uh, elsewhere in the world to France. I'm, I'm more specialized in selling contents. And okay. uh, so I would have... Um, no answer to not, No, I cannot answer this because it's not in my field. Oh, okay. Sorry, All right, sorry that's for okay. that. That's, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> my final question to you is that we were all aware of the fact that Barry was recently badgered brutally uh, in the riots that just took place a few days ago. Uh, is the fact that uh, people, I mean, uh, the French government is actually promoting 
uh, the tourism and the fact that you come and shoot in our country, it, to a certain extent, is it a ploy to cover the whatever has happened in the past and to cover all the, uh, what do you call that, the black spots? Yeah, the riots history. and everything yeah. with the yellow jackets yeah. or the yellow vest, as they say. Well, I think this is, um, this, um, this, is this terrible incident that have been happening over the past few weeks are uh, in, in a way tarnishing uh, the image of my country and uh, I'm, I'm sorry that uh, uh, the social riots have been so explosive. Um, if I would be uh, an historian, I would probably uh, link that with the fact that we have, we have we are the country of revolution mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> back mm -hmm. from 1789, and it's probably uh, we are continuing our revolution. So uh, what I hope... The French Revolution, guys, everybody. The French Revolution, exactly. What I hope is that everything will come back to a peace. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's important to mention that it's only very little uh, precise spots in Paris and in the... Uh, regions of France. Mm -hmm. France, most of France is continuing to live quietly and, and thrive peacefully. So you're all aware of the fact that, you know, in the, in the last few days, uh, whatever, I mean, the way French, uh, the, the country, France was badgered brutally with all these riots going on. So the fact that, uh, you know, uh, the French government is again completely, I mean, in a new way, they're kind of trying uh, to kind of put forth the uh, tourism uh, factor in between and uh, they're kind of trying to promote the French tourism via Bollywood. Or the fact that they are kind of coming out, coming over to our country, and uh, they are asking our filmmakers to come and shoot there. Is it a ploy in order to just cover up whatever? I mean, the black spots of the history. No, I don't think so. It has nothing to see. I think uh, what have uh, have been happening in Paris for uh, three or four weeks now is has been a total surprise for everybody. Mm. Nobody uh, would have thought such. Um, uh, such a request would uh, would turn into this kind of uh, um, revolution, and I directly see a link between these events and the fact that we invented the revolution <laughs> back in the French Revolution, guys. Exactly, back in 1789, uh, in our history, and that's the. I mean, the, the two movements are probably a lot of similarities. Mm -hmm. No, I hope, of course, it's, I, I, I'm not uh, hiding behind, uh, behind words and definitely, uh, I guess, these events, these dramatic events uh, have been tarnishing um, a bit uh, the image of, of my country. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that everything, first of all, it's not the whole country which is in, in, in burning Dolgrams, flames. Yeah. yeah, no, no, it's, it's only a few hopefully a few spots in Paris and a few spots here and there in, in France, even though it's a massive movement, huh? I'm mm -hmm. not uh, hiding it. But um, I hope everything will go back into place and the situation set up quietly in uh, around Christmas and then uh, uh, early next year we can get back to normal life everywhere in France. With that thought, guys, Paris will definitely overcome. And my name is Sandeep. With Instant Times Online, they see Martini.